Debbie with Tina and Luna with Real Dallas Properties and we are bringing you another episode of The, the Real, Real Dallas, Dallas Life. Life. Today we have a special guest with us, our friend Eric here. And today we are going to be talking about our five favorite Dallas local hotspots. And we are also going to get to know a little bit more about Eric and what he's done and why he's here in Dallas now and yeah. 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 <laughs> It. Our relationship, <laughs> you know? why we're here in so, Dallas. Take it away, Eric. Who are you? Well, my name is Eric Warfield. <laughs> uh, recently here to, in Dallas, uh, five years. Uh, former Kansas City Chiefs player, uh, but I'm an old guy, so I don't, I don't think I'm <laughs> one of those young cats. Uh, <laughs> but I've recently met Tina, and uh, we've got a good friendship going. So uh, they've started a podcast, and I've come on to join, uh, help out. And, kind of, uh, I guess, explain some of the things in my life. Yep. So kickstarting our five favorite things in Dallas, number one is the Uptown area. Uptown is the hot spot of Dallas, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably the most desirable area to live in. Beautiful apartments, super walkable, delicious food, tons to do, great nightlife. I mean, honestly, it has it all right yeah. there. So personally, my favorite thing in all of Uptown is probably Clyde Warren Park. Um, this is a great free public park right in the middle of the city. It's kind of like actually a really unique concept. Yeah, I've never been really to a nice. city where they have like a park just like it's right so on top open. of the highway. Yeah, yeah, they got a ton of food trucks. Yeah. Uh, it's packed lately it too. Is. It's like I live in the Uptown area, so I love it. It's uh, it's 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 great for both uh, young and old. Um, like I said, it's. It's an uppity kind of area, so yeah. uh, you get you don't get a lot of the. Uh, I mean, you do and you don't get a lot of the the noise from uh, party life, but uh, it's it's a it's a really nice area, and I, I enjoy it. Yeah, how does it compare to like other cities you've lived in? So most other cities, I've been in the suburbs, and this is the first time I've lived directly in like the the hub oh, of yeah. something. Mm -hmm. So, and the best part for me of uptown is that is uh, is where I'm at. Uh, all the highways are like really convenient to get to the oh, yeah. airports are yeah. really close uh, you have love and you have dfw so uh, everything is easily accessible downtown has a lot to offer and it's right there next to it so uh, I don't know. So, so one of my favorite spots in uptown is the katie trail and I, um it is a, i i want to say it's like uptown three plus. miles it's uptown like, plus it's like how many miles now it's like it's a little over Three? Know, three and a half, I think. Wow. But it's good for some people like me who can't run, don't like to exercise, so <laughs> I just get on the trail and walk back and forth, get my uh, Your six steps miles. In. Yeah, get my steps <laughs> in. <laughs> I've never been there, but you never been oh, to it the is, trail. It is super popular. How can you call yourself a Dallasite? Hey. <laughs> you know, <laughs> my favorite thing is to walk for like a mile, and then you get to the ice house. And it's like Stopping. so like busy and there's like the misters everywhere and the good burgers are so time. good. Chicken sandwiches to, to die for. <laughs> you get some great views of Dallas though when you're walking the trails. You see some a lot of the skylines. And, oh, nice. uh, I didn't know that. Apartment God, like, it's about the exercise. I'm like, I just walk to get to the food. <laughs> I'm here for the food. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> And then you're so full and you had to walk back. You're like, dang, yeah. my car's a mile yeah. away. Shame. <laughs> With your to-go box. Oh my God. Let's get to walk off the food though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. true. True, true. Balance, balance. I love the Mavericks games. And mm -hmm. so that's just a... Everything's like a hop and a skip. From yeah. yeah. No, really, you don't need a car. So yeah. yeah it's just... Bringing us to our next point, which is the uptown trolley, which I think is really cool. And a lot of people don't even realize that about Dallas, that we have a free trolley system mm -hmm. called the M line that goes all throughout uptown, all the way to downtown. Um, so you can literally hop on the schedules just online and, and you can yeah. hop off and go have some lunch and then you can get to the next stop. It's just like taking the bus, but free. Yeah. yeah. And I've, I've had some friends that actually reserved that thing for a party. Yeah. So oh, they, had a, they had a DJ and a, and a bar on there. Yeah, so, that's wow. a really cool concept. It's like a like two hour ride all yeah. through the loop and you could drink and stuff like that. It's, yeah. It's a cool concept. And lately we've been seeing here in Deep Ellum, they have a party bike that you can actually mm -hmm. jump on and you're pedaling mm -hmm. as you're drinking and you're not driving with yeah. someone else's, so it's great. <laughs> that brings us to number two, which is Deep Ellum. Yes, Deep Take Ellum away, <laughs> is the heart of Dallas here. Um, we have Based a lot of, us. yeah, to us basically. because where we're our here. office yeah. is based, so we love Deep Ellum. There's a lot of great spots to eat at, 
rooftop patios for happy hour. So when you're having a long day in real estate, go take a drink, have fun. <laughs> yeah, I think development is like known for rooftops because mm -hmm. it has a really good skyline view. Mm -hmm. um, Tons of good food, serious pizza. Oh my God, the pizza's like as big as this table. Yeah. It's huge. Well, I haven't heard of that. I haven't, I haven't been. Really, so, oh my uh, gosh, you have to go. It's so good. Like, it's been closed for like, what? Oh, so it's not open now? So it's I open now. just reopened. I can go yeah. for, for yes. lunch. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you can get it by the slice. Yeah. So our office is based out of Deep Ellum. So we have a lot of great spots here that you can go and have a drink, eat lunch, dinner. Um, for a great breakfast spot right across the street from us. It's called the All Good Cafe. It's mm. so good. It is a tiny little like old school diner. Like when I go in there, I feel like I'm in that yeah. 70s show. Yeah. Yeah, it's they really cute. They just shot cute. a movie right there too. Yeah, Jessica yeah. Alba. She, oh, yeah, she Jessica produced Alba. a film here, yeah. or it's gonna be a movie, I guess, or season. I don't remember what they said, but they were literally filming right here in the street. We were like, it's good enough for her, it's good enough yeah. for us. And we went like the next day. So. At Deep Ellum's that all day place. Like you come out here and uh, there's tons of tourists and people walking around in the daytime. And uh, you can grab lunch here at nice restaurants, uh, continue with hot dinner spots. And, mm -hmm. and if you're really in the mood, they have some of the best nightlife here. So for sure, uh, I really do. Like it's just one of those all day spots. Mm -hmm. you can, like packed from morning yeah. to night. Yeah. Especially on the weekends. I mean, brunch is great out here. Mm -hmm. I would say Dallas is huge on brunch. Yeah, yeah. I haven't really lived other places, so I guess I can't really speak on that. But I just feel like we <laughs> brunch more than like anyone. Literally. And yeah. Sunday Fun Day is like yes. the best here. I mean, there's Bottle Blonde, Citizen. Um, you just hop around from bar to bar, and it's a fun day all day until like all nine o'clock, and you realize, oh my god, it's nine, and I'm already drunk. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> then it's time to go back to bed and get back to work Monday. <laughs> so. We have Zatar, which is like a hookah spot. Mm -hmm. um, so there's really like some of everything. There's alcohol infused popsicles yeah. down the street. Mm -hmm. I mean, like literally anything you could think of. You beignets. Can get that. They have oh, beignets yeah. in Dallas. Yeah, that's oh <laughs> a French thing, <laughs> right? Another great spot we have that it's like a huge thing in our skyline is the Reunion Tower. So when you come to Dallas, you've never been here, you'll see this huge ball in the sky and you're like, what is that thing? Well, that place, you can actually go inside. Um, you can have dinner at the very top. So if you're scared of heights, I don't know if you want to check it out. <laughs> it spins too. Yeah, as well, you're eating, the, t the room will actually move, but it's really, really slow. So you won't get sick or anything. But if you do get up to go to the restroom, when you come back, it's you're not in the same place, so it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Oh, that is so yeah. funny. That yeah. is so funny. And it's Wolfgang Puck. So. Yeah. 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 It's so great it's food. Yeah. It's like Asian fusion, I think. Yeah. 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 But then also, if you want to just take the kids there for a day, they can actually check out the view. And it's like midway up, and you kind of, I, I really don't know exactly the details, but I know you can like walk around with the kids and they can do it like a little. It's like an observation. Yeah. Kind of thing. yeah. Yeah. So it's great for the kids yeah. as well. So I think, I think they. Well, oh, go, no, go ahead. Well, I was gonna say like the the skyline. I don't know who who's in control of it, but I think they do a good job of like uh, certain themes because mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, it's like Fourth of sure. July. Mm -hmm. Like they kind of put right, it into the skyline. They and, yeah, they mm -hmm. communicate. Yeah, they, sure. they like do a really good job. Hotel. Yeah. 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 It's really pretty. Yeah, I think the reunion tower is one of those things that like if you live here, you like kind of forget about yeah. it as like being an attraction. Right, because um, we're not tourists. Yeah, I think I, I've been yeah. one time and then it was like, it was really cool, but it's just like, oh, yep, that's Reunion Tower, no big yeah. deal. But then I see people, like when I'm driving by, like pointing at it, like, oh my God. So mm -hmm. definitely something you should check out if you're new to the area. Or if you, even if you've lived here, yeah. it's cool. <laughs> you can't live I think here. the tickets are like $20 yeah. to go up to the observation. Yeah. And you can do like a, a great birthday dinner there, celebrate, whatever. Any Unique experience yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. Dallas is a, there's a lot of money in this city and you don't really get to see a lot of the uh, stars or, or the, uh, or not stars as in like the stars players, but like the, the big name people here. Right. Um, and for the most part, if you do see them there, to me, I usually see them at the Mavericks games. So it's, yeah. I love the games. I'm a basketball fan. I love that they brought Luca in and what he's done for the team. Uh, yeah, he's, he's a big attraction. It. Yeah. Killing it. Uh, so it makes it popular. Um, so again, it's like, I, I just enjoy the, the vibe that it gives. Mm -hmm. the, so you feel like, and, and you don't see a lot of the athletes around town. I mean, you might see a couple of Cowboys yeah. players here or there. Yeah. yeah. For the most part, you don't I see like, like the big name yeah. people here. 
Yeah, she and if you there. do see them, it's like in the most low key way. Yeah. You know, you, it's on accident. It's yeah. not like they're out trying to like showboat or any True. kind of way. You see them at like Eatsy's picking up a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Like Casual clothes, relaxed. Yeah. yeah. Nothing crazy. But the American Airlines Center alone, it's, it's so nice. It so is. nice. It's a nice yeah. arena. Yeah. It attracts a lot of traffic, so people love being there, um, having fun with their friends and family. So. And then that Victory Park area right around it is oh, like yeah. made for like after the game, mm-hmm. you can just it literally is. hop right over to go get a drink and yeah. dips or like mm-hmm. anywhere in that area. It's super nice, super fun. Yeah. So we want to thank you guys today for tuning in with us for another episode of The, the Real, Real Dallas, Dallas Life. Life. Stay tuned for more episodes to come. And. A big special thank you to Eric for being able to be a guest on our show. Dallas loves you. (laughs) I love you, Dallas.